Arjuna sat on his chariot, perplexed and confused. He had been taught by his teacher, Lord Krishna, the essence of life in the previous chapter, but still, he had doubts about his path. He asked Lord Krishna to clarify his doubts and show him the path to reach the ultimate goal. Lord Krishna smiled and said Arjuna, the path to attain the ultimate goal is to practice karma yoga. It means performing actions without attachment to the outcome. Arjuna asked how can one perform actions without attachment to the outcome? Isn't it necessary to have a goal in life? Lord Krishna replied, Arjuna, it is not that you should not have a goal, but you should not be attached to it. Attachment to the outcome leads to disappointment and sorrow. You should perform actions as a service to the divine without expecting any reward. Arjuna was curious and asked how can one practice karma yoga in daily life? Lord Krishna explained, karma yoga can be practiced in daily life by performing actions with a selfless attitude, without being attached to the result. It means doing your duty, fulfilling your responsibilities, but with detachment. He continued, one who practices karma yoga attains inner peace and is free from the cycle of birth and death. They reach the state of samadhi, where they merge with the divine. Arjuna was amazed and asked how can I reach that state of samadhi? Lord Krishna smiled and said, Arjuna, it is not easy to attain samadhi, but with practice and determination, you can reach that state. You should meditate regularly and perform your actions with a selfless attitude. Remember, it is not what you do, but how you do it that matters. Arjuna was grateful for Lord Krishna's guidance and promised to practice karma yoga in his daily life. With that, Lord Krishna disappeared, and Arjuna sat in contemplation, determined to follow the path of karma yoga and attain the ultimate goal.